Hi and welcome to another DTG tutorial. So this question is the 2012 paper section A and it is question A4. So a short question and it is perspective is the topic. So the graphic below shows the litter bin and logo. So here's our litter bin, here's our logo. The drawn on the right is a partially completed perspective view of the bin. Complete the perspective drawn of the bin using the auxiliary function points uh, using an auxiliary function point for the slope and surfaces. Okay, so all they're giving us here is they're giving us the plan and they're giving us our picture plane going through that point there and then our two function points. So I'm just gonna might not need it too much, but I'm just gonna set up the adjustable set square on the projection. So I'm bring down certain points. So let's see what we have to finish off. So we have the back corner here, uh, represented there, to find the top point here. Now what else do we have? We have this point here, so we have that one there. So let's figure out that back corner first. So to figure out the back corner, join that point, it's vanishing over to the left. So therefore I have to go to the vanishing point, VP1. So join that point back to VP1. And wherever it crosses, that's our point here. Okay, that's the back of the bin. That's that line down there. Now, then it slopes up, and this is sloping up as well. So we we'll leave that for a second. Next, we have the bottom of the bin here. This point now, that's the height for that point there. It vanishes over to the right. So join this point over to VP2, and you will be given the height of the bin here up. To this point okay next then is that's going to join up to our point here and we know that's stopping there because that's our point brought down already so that's our angle here okay so next is this point here i want to put in that's the middle section of the slope so we have this i want to put in also at this point here now i want to put in that point there next all right, so that is the back, sorry, the middle point here. So first things first, you always join the back to the spectator, so our spectator here. Join your point back to the spectator, where it crosses the picture plane, which is this point here. Project it down the same angle, and you know it's gonna be along that line somewhere. Now I told you to use auxiliary function points for the slope and surfaces. Now looking at the question, they should either give you the angle or it should give you the height up, but they haven't given you any of that because you only have the plan. So what they have given you is they've started doing one of the slope surfaces for you. So if I extend that back, it has to go project back to a vanishing point. So the slope surface, if I extend it, and remember auxiliary vanishing points are always above the normal vanishing point, so if I extend this back this direction, it will give me my auxiliary function point. Auxiliary function point. Alright. So that means now our slope surfaces are all going to be vanishing back to there. So that's one slope surface. Next one's from here back to the auxiliary function point. And we've brought down our point here. So Join the back down the spectator, this way across the picture plane, and that's my angle, so that is where it stops. So that is the back of the middle line, so if I join that back to here, that is my slope surface at the top. Next, we're going to see inside the bin, so this point here is going to be sloping back, so it's going to be sloping to the left, so it means it has to be joined to the function point, to the left, VP1. So that's our angle here and it stops at the back corner here so let's bring that down and see if we can see it so join the back corner to the spectator and we're across is the picture plane which is here project that down and we do see it sitting in here 
and that surface you want to see that all at the back there's so that continues down so we're looking inside the bin so we have our angle up here we have our that point it's joined up to there as well to get that little bit of detail in the back And actually, now the design in the front is given to you over here at the logo. They're all fashioned down to that fashion point down here. So we can just basically join them all in. And these will have the fashion to fashion point V2, VP2, okay? So let's put that in. Now let's finish off. So, lastly, then is the surface at the back. You see a bit of it here. So, to figure out where that is, this point vanishes back to VP1. And that will tell me where the part ends at the back here. So, basically, that height, how do you find it at the back? You project it back to the vanish point. That gives you the height here. It's right the front going to VP2 so we're drawing that back to VP2 and that gives you a little strong line inside there so let's draw that in strong Now let's double check that that is the question finished and that everything is drawn and strong. So complete the perspective drawing of the bin using auxiliary function point for the open surfaces. So that's it done. Uh, it's all done using the auxiliary function point. And if you look closely here, they're basically giving you the answer. All right. So a lot of information given in that one should be any difficulty with those perspective questions, especially the short questions. They're really nice if they come up as a short question. So um, that's the question done. I hope it helped. If it did, leave a like. And uh, if you'd like to see certain short questions done or long questions or even section C's, let me know in the comment section below. Okay, thank you and good luck.